That's an odd looking fire watchtower. <laughs> I wonder if he has a camera. Well, howdy, folks. Sean here from Hiking with Sean on YouTube. Today I'm at Odom Tract Ecological Area here in the Shawnee National Forest. It is the day before Thanksgiving, 2019, and I thought I'd go for a little hike because I got off early. So it's an old forest road, and used to probably be heavily used by Jeeps. And there's all sorts of little side trails, which I'm gonna take. I'm just gonna try to spend a few hours out here. And I wanted to go for a bike ride today, but bike's out of commission right now until I get a new tire. So I thought I'd just go for a fast hike. So I'm trying to make this kind of a fitness thing too. But I'm also gonna give plogging a try. That's where you basically hike for trash or run for trash. I'm not gonna be running, but I'm gonna be hiking kind of fast. So I got me a trash bag and I already see some beer cans. You know, it's always good to have a good sense of direction so that you can find what you're looking for. When I was a kid, I, uh, I was in the woods with a friend and we, were, we weren't we were hiking because we were kids, just playing in the woods. Uh, that's just where I grew up, that was what you did. You played in the woods. And we went pretty deep into the woods on a trail that I knew, but we decided to get off trail. And when we went off trail, we got way off trail. And I was in an area that I had no idea about. So I was lost. I was lost with my friend. We were both young. Uh, I may have been eight or nine, and he may have been, you know, seven or eight, something like that. Year, a year less than I was. Something of that nature. And uh, we were both lost, and we were scared. You know, it wasn't getting dark or nothing, but we were kids, and we didn't know where to go. And because of that, we were, we were frightened. Well, this dog happened to come in the woods and we started following it and it wasn't, it wasn't getting close to us. But uh, we ended up following it outside of the woods onto the road that I recognized. And I remember we hugging, we were hugging each other. We were like almost crying, almost in tears because we were lost, we were truly lost. And we had found each other or not found each other, we had found the way out. And because of that, that's always kind of haunted me, if you will, not haunted me, just reminded me to always have a good sense of direction. Always carry something to help direct you so that when you get off trail, you can find the trail once again. Be it GPS, maps, compasses, whatever is your fancy. Check this out. Yeah, I don't know if this is like an old creek or, or an old trail of something or just like massive erosion. I, th I wanna say it's massive erosion. It's what it looks like. It's weird looking. It looks like massive erosion. Huh. Anyway, off trail, heading for the Barrens, which is the reason I come out here um, this uh, this ecological area is really cool there's a lot to see for such a little area um, but there is some precious precious flora out here I don't know exactly which is you know what what the flora is I'm not really in the botany but uh, something I do want to get better at but um, I do try to tread lightly when I go off trail in these areas, really watch where I'm stepping. And uh, especially when you get around the barrens, because there's a lot of stuff that grows on the barrens that just, you know, it's special. It's, it's special, it's rare, and 
you know, you gotta watch for it. So I usually try to save these trips for leaf down seasons so that for the most part, most of what is special and needs to be protected is, uh, well, you know, pretty much down for the season. So the last time I was here, I didn't know this was here. This has caught me by surprise. Look at that, even got some trash. Even got some trash. First things first, make sure there's no snakes. Guarding the trash. Look at that, that's old. That was old. That's not old. That's not old. All right. Wow, this is cool, folks. I didn't know this was here, but I had heard something about waterfalls or some sort of area that would have like waterfalls, and this would be it. This is what I heard about. And I'm glad I came out here because there's trash. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna leave my bag of trash while I go explore a little further. Isn't this cool? Too cool for school. Way too cool for school. Oh, that is just too neat. Every time I come out here, I find new stuff. <laughs> like today. Man, this is cool right here. You figure out a safe way over there without getting wet, falling in. Oh, think that is that loose? Nope. There's there's a bag I need to take. Bendy tree. Uh, bluffage. That could be an arch. I'll have to come back and check that out. Could be an arch. This is too cool right here though. Got to check this out first. Oh heck yeah. Far out. A little channel that's created over time through erosion. Far out. That's too cool for school. That's pretty cool, folks. I will definitely mark the GPS of this area and share it below in the description. That's just too cool for school, folks. What a cool, what a cool creek. Really cool creek. Now I'm curious about this rock here. Try not to forget that trash. Since I'm here, I might as well get it. Nah, that ain't a, that's just a boulder on top of a rock. That's nothing special. I thought maybe it was an arch, like a boulder looking arch, but it ain't. That looks like some sort of ice wrapper. Yeah. This is a cool area. I uh, had no idea this was even here. So, something new for me. And there's still quite a bit of that. I've not seen it all. I don't claim to, but I hope I get to see it all. <laughs> 
I'm gonna keep exploring this creek. Here's a pretty cool pool. Follow it up. Nice and easy because it's wet and slick. And there you are. Another little cool little water foliage. Very cool. All sorts of trash over here. A lot of it's in areas I can't get to though and I really hate it, you know. I want to pick all the trash up, but I'm getting a pretty full bag. Oh, there's some there. I didn't even notice that. So, at least I am getting some. That's That was the goal. Come here, enjoy a hike, pick up some trash since I couldn't go bike riding and uh, check out the barrens and this creek thing's pretty cool. It's gonna get dark soon so I can't stay too much longer but I at least wanted to film some of it because it's pretty neat out here. I definitely have to come back. Alrighty folks, cool area. All sorts of fun here in Odom Tract. Um, filled up a full Walmart bag full of trash and now I'm going to make my way up the barren bluffage and back to the trail that will take me to my truck um, so that I can get out of here before it gets too dark Whoa, that's about fell backwards. Sorry, Michelle. That's, that's what I get for operating, doing many things at once. Anyway, survived for now. Um, that's what I'm doing. So, I'm already here at the Barrens. Might as well uh, video some of this for those of you who's not ever seen it. The Odom Track Barrens. Pretty pretty area very pretty um, first time I was here I came in here it was it was a day like today where it was like only 50 degrees and I was in shorts a hoodie and bike shorts and no I wasn't wearing bike shorts just to wear bike shorts I was wearing bike shorts because I was riding <laughs> so I parked at the river river trail and just hiked up here while I was riding Tunnel Hill, just to kind of explore. That's what I do when I bike. I, I don't I don't do a full bike ride. I usually get off and explore. All right, folks. And as a treat, because I really wanted to see it again, and because I'm here, so I might as well, I bring you the old car. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I didn't get this in 4K last time I was here, so for once you get to see it in 4K with the tree growing around the car. Isn't that cool? I mean, there ain't much of this this old thing left, but uh, you know, one can only wonder the history of of why this is out here. It was probably just kind of you know littered or junked or whatever. But who knows, maybe maybe these folks were like bootleggers and they were running from the law and they crashed and they fled and then nature took over. And just so you know, right up the hill from the old car that you see right now, straight up from its pasture side door up the hill, not too far, is more old settlement. This is an old plow or old hay beller or something like that. I think it's a plow disc or something. I'm not a I'm not a farming guy, so you could tell me what it is. Someone's told me before, I just can't remember. But it's old. It's old and it's it's heavy. It ain't going nowhere. Neither is that car. That's why uh I'm not too uh upset. Or I'm not too uh not upset, I'm not too shy about sharing the gps um if anyone does steal it geez <laughs> it's gonna take a lot of work and folks folks who live around here 
watch this area. Um, I bet you anything, they know I'm here. They know who I am. Um, they watch it. So it wouldn't be a good idea, but definitely come out here and check it out at least. So, filled up my trash bag, had to break out a second bag. Unfortunately, there's an area down this road has a ton of curves and there's like a camp spot over here. Unfortunately, there's a whole bunch of litter, like a big plastic tarp, bunch of bottles and a cooler. And I just, I can't, I can't get to it with my truck. Otherwise I'd come back through here and pick it up. But there's trees down across the, the more dipped in top of this trail. And I won't, my truck won't come out here because of that. And I don't have enough, I don't have enough to carry it out. So I had to leave trash and that kind of, kind of makes me feel bad. I mean, I know it's not my trash, but I hate leaving it, you know, cause I just tried to gather what I could. And, uh, and hopefully that, uh, hopefully that'll be okay. I just, I hate having to leave trash. So, I mean, I guess at least I, at least I got a, a little bit. Uh oh, I'm about to lose my trash. Come on. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. There we go. So, on that note, look, there's some bluffage. There's a little bit of bluffage on this trail besides the, uh, um, the, 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 the barrens and all that. And something tells me there's probably even more um, old settlement. I just have a feeling this area was rich with old settlement. There's more trash I'm gonna have to get. So on that note, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click that like button, share it with others, and leave a comment telling me if you want, to make, want me to make more of these. If you're not a subscriber to Hiking with Sean, please subscribe today. It's free and encourages me to continue doing stuff like this. Thanks again for watching another episode of Hiking with Sean. Until next time, I'll see you on the trail. Now I gotta put the camera away so I can clean up people's trash and probably uh, walk out of here at nightfall. But lucky for me, I got a flashlight. Unless it's dead.